COVID has been a major issue of our lifetime. Is the vaccine a solution? Yes or no? Welcome to our breaking news special report. The virtual nephrologist headquartered here in New York City has shared with us that their lead physician, Dr. A. Usama Rafai, a kidney specialist, has just received the Moderna vaccine on the 24th of December. We have this exclusive interview. Thank you for inviting me for this interview and greetings to all your audience uh, tonight. And uh, yes, I am a kidney specialist and I'm a dialysis doctor, but also involved with critical care patients. So at the beginning of the pandemic, I recognized the importance and the seriousness of this illness. And I was involved from day one when uh, this became an issue here in the United States with patients with uh, COVID and in the intensive care unit. And I was very cautious not to get sick myself. And between uh, March and June, and July, and that's where the first wave was in our area in July and in August, I really got really, really sick and I had personally COVID for almost a whole month. And I have been tested with antibodies and I had antibodies on two occasions, but in my mind, I trust science and I trust the recommendations of the scientific community, the virologist, the epidemiologist, and I am going to take the vaccine, and I have taken the vaccine this morning. And um, this interview is happening after I took the vaccine. So if you have any problems, if you think anything is going on with me, something is because of the vaccine. But no, I feel great, and I am happy that I took the vaccine. Doctor, you have mentioned you have antibodies. Why do you need the vaccine? Yes, y yes, it, indeed. It is not only for my protection. I know I have antibodies, so supposedly maybe I am protected, but also I want to have longer lasting antibodies to protect myself, but I also wanted to protect my loved ones. I wanted to see my parents, they're aging. I wanted to protect my family. I wanted to protect everybody around me. But most importantly, we, the healthcare providers, the doctors, the nurses, and anybody who works in the front line, including housekeeping, we are the soldiers for humanity. So we have taken a step and we have moved forward. And uh, you know, in the hospital today, the line was long trying to get the vaccine. We had to wait. This is how we, the medical community, understand the seriousness of this. So uh, a lot of doctors, a lot of nurses, and almost a lot of people are taken who are involved with direct patient's care are taking the vaccine. Which one is better, the Moderna vaccine or the Pfizer one? Which one would you recommend and how about the side effects? I cannot tell you the difference between the two vaccines. I have taken the Moderna vaccine and within a few weeks, I will get the second booster dose and I think within four weeks or so or, or a month. And I should be 90 to 95% protected. And I think we are going to be the first wave of humanity that will protect and will keep mankind safe and will keep this civilization going. So we have taken a step. And yes, I, we don't know short term side effects are very limited that are related to just foreign injections. Long term, 20 years, 30 years from today, nobody knows. But what we have seen today, we are seeing a lot of people that are getting sick and the percentage does not represent the vulnerable people. It represents the 18 years old and the, he and the healthy asymptomatic people. There's people in their 40s and 50s and 60s that are needlessly dying. So yes, I'm taking the vaccine. And yes, I will tell you if I get side effects long term, I cannot see side effects. Nobody can, but we have to do something to save the world. Did you hesitate about the vaccine? Without a shadow of a doubt. I have did not blink twice that I really wanted to take the vaccine. I want to be a part of the solution. And we have encouraged healthcare providers as well to be a part of the solution. But what I have promised, and this is going to be uh, on, on video and it's going to be broadcasted once a week. So for the next year, for the next 52 weeks till New year of 2021, God willing, if I'm still alive and I'm still doing well, every Saturday morning, I will put out a video that is three minutes video to discuss what happened to me in the previous week and update you. So anybody who is hesitant, anybody who has concerns about short-term effects, 
can see real life my journey and I had COVID and I have currently antibodies from my previous infection. I'm getting revaccinated and vaccinated again so I can protect the world as well. So for the next 52 weeks, you can follow me on my Facebook page or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notification every time there is a video. And that video will describe exactly how I feel, what happened to me with the previous week, and uh, will be your eyes and your ears and your window to a real live experiment for you to protect you and to get better. Can we just drill you a little further again about long-term side effects? You know, that's, that's really not clear. That is not clear 20, 30 years from today what could happen. I don't know what could happen. Nobody knows what could happen 30 years, but we know what is happening today. All what you have to do, look around. Walk into ICUs, walk into hospitals, walk into airports, walk into small businesses, walk into restaurants, walk into families' homes, walk into funeral homes. It is happening. So we know what's happening today. So I, I cannot predict, and please don't hold me to my answer because nobody knows 20, 30 years from today what could happen because I took the vaccine. But I'm talking about today. How do you feel now? Okay, that's a simple question. For the time being, I just a little bit sore here and um, I don't feel anything. Actually, I'm planning lunch and dinner and uh, even planning a short vacation since, uh, since uh, everything is closed, we cannot fly. So um, I'm gonna be driving around and going to the beach and so forth. So life goes on. You only live once, enjoy life and stay healthy and stay safe. How can we follow the videos and the posts? Thevirtualnephrologist.com and on Facebook it is The Virtual Nephrologist and on YouTube it's The Virtual Nephrologist as well. Dr. Rafai, thank you greatly and we appreciate your dedication and service to humanity. Yes, thank you so very much for having me um, on your channel and um, I hope uh, everybody stay healthy and stay safe. And if you are in a position to take the vaccine, I have taken the vaccine without hesitation. Be a part of the solution. Let's save the world. Salutations to all healthcare and frontline workers. Also, thank you for being with us to talk about the vaccine. We look forward to following your journey for the next 52 weeks on Facebook and YouTube. Again, the virtual nephrologist. Back to our studios in Manhattan.